Hello everyone and welcome back to the next episode of the AI Rescue Boat build series. Now in the last couple of episodes we've gotten really far with this boat, pretty much all up and working and in this episode I want to focus on getting all of the mic controllers into the creation. We're going to get our navigation systems, we're going to get some beautiful screens, we're going to get emergency lights, radios, heating systems, all those cool things that really bring a creation into life here in game in this episode. Now I've actually gone and laid them all out. Most of these are on the workshop already. They're all my uh, my controllers that you guys can go and download and use. Some of them aren't my controllers, they're just logic and I'll show you guys how to set up in your own creation. So let's go over a few of these. So the first thing we're going to add on is going to be the navigation waypoint system. I think this takes 18 or 16 different waypoints that you can enter in and your boat will actually follow those waypoints. It's a really cool feature and for the AI part of this build, uh, this will be useful uh, definitely to use with the mission stuff. So really cool thing to have in any case. Uh, next thing we're going to do is we're going to do a stabilization system. This is actually going to be an active stabilization system. Um, not much logic, just going to use a gyro, it's quite big can make it smaller with some tilt sensors and things but this is the easiest way to get a really really smooth um, boat especially when you're going through waves and things so we're going to be adding a gyro some fins uh, we're also going to be adding some winches I've actually added two of them on one at the top deck there and one in the front and we've got two little controllers of mine that we're going to be using to control that uh, two radios of course very simple NJ radios here that you can use We've also got a little map screen, which is going to be on the driver side, because remember the navigation is going to be on the navigator seat. Um, so the driver will have a little map with a little uh, bearing on it and also a little direction sensor. We're going to add a little um, data screen. So that's going to have maybe our fuel on it, maybe our speed, maybe our temperature and something else. Uh, we've got some lights, so we've already added the lights in our creation. We're going to be controlling those using player sensors so they turn on and off uh, as soon as you're character walks in the boat uh, we've also got temperature control panel so we'll add that into our creation so the temperature automatically regulates depending on where we are in the world emergency lights because we are a rescue boat we need emergency lights we're also going to do some cool things with the throttle i'm going to teach you a, a very cool trick so don't make sure you don't miss that uh, and then the last thing we have is obviously the driver panel. So as I said, we're going to have two screens, which will probably be the map and the data screen. And then we've got a little one, which has got fuel, battery, emergency lights, nav lights, and we've got a key switch to turn the boats on and off. So that's all my mic controllers. I usually always like to lay them out separately to the creation when I'm building. Uh, that way I can get them all lined up, get them all ready. If I need to make any changes to them, I can outside of the creation and then once I'm happy with them I can then add them in uh, knowing that they actually all work. Cool so that's it let's get into the workbench and let's add these controllers in. So the first thing I want to start off with is going to be the driver panel. Now you can see I've actually got the panel just over here all ready to go so all we need to do is grab our selection grid I'm going to grab it like this bring it across take it all together just like that I'm going to go then and cut that across and then drag it into my creation paste it in make sure we grab the merge tool and we merge it together with this other piece that we're busy using so you can see there that's the piece that rotates connected there it's now all one body which means it should go and turn once we actually get everything going the next thing i want to do is we're going to add on a let's use a relay somewhere inside our creation now the relay will actually turn the electricity on for everything so it's not draining our power when we're not using the boat and we're going to use that key switch to actually use this relay. So we're going to place a relay somewhere inside the middle of our creation. We're going to use the key switch over here to connect to that relay. Now we're going to go to our battery. So let's just go and find our battery which is over here. I'm actually going to be deleting this battery and placing it back down again. That way it gets rid of all my connections and now I can start fresh. So we're going to go from our actual key switch over to our battery, from our battery over to our relay, and then from our relay, we're then going to go over to all of our different electrical components. And that's something I'll quickly go down and do is I'll go and connect all of those pieces up. Okay, so we've just gone and finished connecting all of our electricity and everything. Just remember that when you're doing this, make sure that you have, if you have anything like some doors or if you have something that you want to turn the actual electricity on with or some pivots that you want to rotate, um, make sure those are connected directly to your battery uh, because obviously to get inside this area, we need to get through this door. So this door needs to have electricity before we even get in here. So you can see I've actually directly connected the door 
up to our actual hinge and our button to get in there. So that means we have direct access. Uh, what we can also do, because we have a secondary battery underneath here, we could add another relay in, and that will allow us to toggle the secondary battery, kind of like a backup battery of some sort. Uh, it's up to you on how you want to do it. As I said, you can use a relay. We could use a circuit breaker if you wanted to, and you could hide the circuit breaker somewhere inside here. That could be another way of doing it. So actually, let's use a circuit breaker. We're going to go and hide it somewhere inside the creation where you're not really going to see it um, possibly over here so let's go there place it in there and we can call this backup battery perfect and once we got that in you can just go over to your logic and connect that from one battery over to the second battery and that way if you toggle it it will then send the battery current or the electricity through both of those batteries meaning that will share its battery between them so now that we have that in, we can now get the mic controller for this. Now the mic controller I've already got, it's just over here. We're going to grab it and we're going to put it into the creation. Now up to you once again, where you want to put it. I'm going to try and find a nice low position for it just to help with buoyancy. So probably right over here and I can delete a couple extra pieces there. As you can see, we can put it over there. That's perfectly fine. Or we could even rotate it so there's no gaps anywhere just like this. Cool. So now that we've got that in, the next thing I want to do is I want to connect all the logic. So logic for this will be very simple. It's just a composite panel going to it and it's connecting over to fuel and a few things like that. So I'm going to do that and I'll meet you back once that's done. Cool. Now that I've connected that up, that composite panel should be all working here inside of our little bridge. Uh, the next thing I want to do is the throttle lever because you're probably wondering, well, where's the throttle lever that we had from the last couple of episodes? How are we going to control that if we don't have a throttle lever? And also, if we don't put it on a composite panel, how are we going to control the throttle, which is the RPS? Now, at the moment, on our seat, we're using our WNS to control our clutch. Whereas before we also had a throttle lever that controlled how much RPS we were actually giving our engines and our little mic controller that was controlling our engines. So instead of using two different things, I want to combine my WNS to both my clutch and also my throttle set RPS of my engines. Now you're probably thinking, well, how do you do that? Well, I know that my RPS is going to be 20 max. Okay, so I'm going to take whatever I have on WNS and I'm going to times it by 20. The only problem is that means that if I have no clutch, I have no RPS theoretically on my engines. So we're going to use a simple little function block, as you can see here, just a simple little function block. And inside there, we're going to use a little bit of math. Now, what I'm doing is I'm clamping the WNS, which is negative one to one to only zero to one. Okay, so you can see I'm doing a little bit of clamp action here. Then what I'm doing is I'm actually going to times it by 15, not 20, by 15. Okay, so that will now give me a range of zero all the way to 15 for my RPS. Now, probably think, why are you only doing 15? Well, the reason why I'm only doing 15 is because I've said that the minimum it can be is going to be five. Always starts off as five. That means our engines will never cut out. The only way they can cut out is if we actually go and turn the engines off. Okay, so this is a little bit of math. You can do it up to you on how you want to configure it. Um, but that's what I'm going to be using for our creation. So I'm just going to go and grab this function block. I'm going to go and place it somewhere inside our creation where it's out of the way. And now what we're going to do is you can see that the W and S over here is going to my clutch, which is correct. It's going over to my clutch, but now it's also going to go into this function block. And then from the function block, it's going to go into my set RPS of my actual controllers for my engines. OK, so that's another way you can little do it there. OK, that means you just have to use WNS to control your engines, plus your throttle, plus everything else, which I think is a cool little feature. The next thing we're going to do is our emergency lights. Very simple little um, mic controller here. Grab it. Delete this, don't need it anymore. Go into our creation somewhere, anywhere we want to. I'm going to try and fill this floor with logic. So we're going to put it over here. Great, there we go, it's done. All I have to do now is go into my logic. I have an on off, which is coming from my other controller. Going into my left light, which is going to be over here, light and light. And right lights, which is over here and over here. 
very simple, nothing else on that little controller. And in theory, that emergency light system should work now. So we'll wait for the boat to spawn in. We need to change the height it spawns in. But let's go and jump on. We should be able to open this door. We can. We should be able to get into our seat. Turn this on. There we go. Engine's on. Everything should be running nice and smoothly. Fuel, battery, nav lights. If we turn that red, green, white, perfect. Emergency lights. Yep, we've got emergency lights working. Very happy with those. I think they look pretty cool. Let's go forwards. Yeah, there we go. Nice. Look at that. Very cool. And of course, we can get our navigation and our emergency lights on. You can see we are leaning a little bit to the left and then a little bit to the right. So our stabilization system later on will be very useful, I think. But uh, yeah, I think that that looks pretty cool and it's working really well too and I like the throttle I don't have to worry about doing anything inside just my WNS and I can do a nice simple little cruise and even if I go full S my engine never cuts off perfect let's go forwards we might also want to add maybe a gearbox for reverse at the late stage but it's something we can add or speak about later on Cool, so now that we've got that in, uh, we can go back into the workbench and we can carry on. So the next thing I wanna work on is going to be some player sensors for lights and things. So we're just gonna go straight into our creation, find a nice empty spot like there, go and plop that down there. So that's one player sensor, come down here, plop another one down somewhere out of the way, like here, there we go. And we're going to do player sensor right there over to this light switch and over to this light and this light and we're going to do this player sensor down here over to that light that light and that light uh let's go and spawn that and those lights in theory should actually be working now once we get inside that compartment so you can see they're currently off but as soon as i walk in here got the light Dunk. now we've got lights in here if we go down here as soon as we go into this area we should get lights yep there we go we now got lights in here we can change the tone of these if we want to, but I'm happy it's working. This turns off, great. You can see those lights are off now, but only if we go down does it turn on. So I'm happy with that. And then in theory, if we're outside, those should not turn on. Even if I go over here, you can see the lights are not on. And if I go in the front, the light shouldn't turn on either. Nope, so that works well. Same as here, lights not on, but as soon as I go into the area, they turn on, which is great. Cool, pretty happy with that. Uh, let's bring it back into the workbench and let's work on the next thing. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to do, I think, a map screen and we've also got heating systems and we've also got a data screen. So I'm just going to get these in here and I'll meet you guys back once it's done. Great, so we've just finished the logic for the little map screen and also for the little info screen. I've also configured it so it's got knots. I'm not too sure what I'm going to do on header 2, 3 and 4. Maybe fuel, maybe RPS, maybe time. I'm not too sure we can do that later on. So let's work on the next thing. And the next thing that I want to work on is going to be the, let's do the gyro. Yeah, let's do the gyro and we'll do some fin rudders. Make sure this boat gets nice and stabilized. Uh, so when we're turning and things, it's very smooth. So we're gonna come in here once again, we're gonna put a gyro just over there. We're going to use a key switch to turn it on and off. We're gonna make sure it always has some electricity when we turn our relay on. And now what we're going to do, funny enough, is going to be to do the roll and the pitch, okay? And we're going to use these fin riders that we added, I think, on like the second episode, if I'm correct. Uh, you can see they're both currently facing the same way, which is fine, okay? Now we can also, if we wanted to, we could add some more rudders or fins underneath here, okay? So somewhere inside our creation, like if we go here or we could go... Here, for example and obviously cover it up but you could add something in here and that way you would also have some fin rudders in the front which could be useful okay so i'm actually going to do it i'm just going to go and block this off so we don't get any water or anything else leaking in there make sure it's all sealed off we're going to get a fin rudder let's grab two small ones uh, keep them both the same direction. So for example, facing upwards, let's just make it yellow so you guys can see. There we go. So positive facing up. Let's check the ones at the back. So that's negative. So we want to switch them around. 
come over here invert there we go that's fine you can see them now two yellow riders i'm going to now paint them black once again spawn it in jump back in and let's see what that looks like on let's go forwards and there we go should keep us nice and level now very so let's rotate is digging us down quite a bit into the water as you can see but uh it's keeping us almost perfectly level the entire time see look at that how much better that is at rotation now super steady now if you want to do something even cooler let's imagine you want your boat to lean in a little bit more to the right and a little bit more to the left when you're turning okay let's imagine that you want that to happen what you can do is if you go in here you can actually add your turning into the gyro so if you go here and take your seat and take your a and d and add that to the roll of your gyro so over there now let's go and spawn that in and now every time we turn we're actually adding some onto that gyro and we should actually lean a little bit further so let's go and check it out let's go forwards okay let's build up some speed let's turn to the left see how the boat is leaning in and the boat's leaning right because that's what we're doing now is we're actually adding onto it now if you don't like that you don't have to add it on or if it's too sensitive you could obviously turn it down or clamp it um, completely up to you but I think it's a cool little feature to add so that a whole boat turns left to right once again up to you everyone has their own preference on how they like to build things um, but I like that as a little little bit of a feature and you can see how it rolls left and right like that okay so the next thing I wanted to do was the radio and the heating systems and then obviously our navigation and then finally the winch systems so for the radio I'm just gonna go and grab the mic controllers I'm gonna go find a space inside our creation somewhere somewhere underneath uh, so possibly let's do here make sure I don't delete anything while I'm doing that there we go so we now got that we need to fix the painting later on uh, so we've got two radios in there now we've got some screens here that I added on so some screens over there so we can use those I do need some speakers though so we'll add some speakers somewhere inside our cabin here we could add them on the sides to be honest oh even over there we could add them there we could add them up here over here really you could add them really anywhere uh let's do is there anything here that we can use yep let's try that let's go and angle it down there we go so now we've got some speakers we could actually change that location but for now i think that's all right uh we could add some more here at the back if you wanted to so see okay we can't because the seats a little bit too high so we would have to add one like over here is where we could do one and let's just fix it by doing the painting like that there we go uh the next thing you need is some electricity on that but let's actually add some radios so we're going to go over here and we're going to go and grab some radios i think let's go with the big ones and let's see how those look yeah i like the look of the big ones uh, let's come in here and just fix any painting that we need to fix there we go there we go perfect so we got that we've got our speaker we also need a microphone so we could add a microphone over here for example there we go nice and simple uh, and then what we can do is get everything connected Cool. so we just finished all the logic for the radios done all the composite the video all that kind of stuff another cool thing you can do is if you're on your seat and you press your talk button uh, whatever you've got it bound to on your computer um, then we can actually use the megaphone here which is a uh, I think a cool a cool little feature so you can speak out of there uh, if you wanted to once again up to you if you want to use that or not so you could do a different way completely up to you Cool, so we've done the radio systems. I actually want to spawn that in and see what that looks like. I know radios can be quite heavy, so I do get worried sometimes when you, I add radios onto creations. But um, that actually looks really cool. I like the look of that. Okay, uh, let's do some more logic. So we've done all the radio stuff, so we can get rid of all that. Uh, we do need two of the winch controllers, so I might as well add those in right now. So let's go and spawn that in definitely change the height of the spawns in that 
Uh, let's go and grab some ropes and I have some over there. Let's connect that and let's put it maybe connected to that and let's test. Yeah, there you go. That's working. Winch down. Yep, that's working. I might want to change the speed though. And then if we were to connect a mag or we could also connect that up. Uh, let's just go and connect to the front one. Let's check if that front winch is working or not. Let's check this one out. So we're going to connect that over to that. Yep, that works perfectly fine. Okay, cool. I'm pretty happy with that. And those winches are working. So all we have left now is the heating and the navigation system. So for the navigation system, we have a few things that we need. Uh, we're going to need, of course, the mic controller, which is relatively larger mic controller. So we're going to make sure we get that in uh, with enough space. So here at the back, maybe. Cool. Uh, what else do we need for that? Now, I've already got a GPS sensor. I've already got a compass sensor. Speaker, I don't really need. Or buzzer, don't need that. Don't need any of that. Screen, I've already got. Uh, this stuff, I don't need. Battery, I don't need. So the only thing I do need is this dial keypad over here to enter in my waypoints. So we're going to come inside the creation. Now, where I'm going to put this waypoint, uh, I'm not 100% sure. I was kind of thinking maybe to do it here, but it doesn't really fit, unfortunately. We could do it here, actually. Just thinking about that. You could do something like that. So when you're sitting here, you just look up, you enter in your destinations. Uh, we're going to leave that in. Everything else we don't need. We've got the controller. We've got everything else. I do need some way to turn everything on because usually that's controlled with a composite panel. So we're going to need to add some way to turn the autopilot system on and off. So let's just go back in there. Uh, let's start going through and we're going to come in here and let's say that we can turn the autopilot system on and off using, let's say, two. So autopilot system toggle which will be number two uh cool now we can do the logic so we've got our screen which we're going to get connected we've got audio no rope no no electricity no uh composite we don't have a composite panel in we do have a touch screen though and we do have a seat so we'll get that connected uh then we need to get everything else connected so we've got on off which is number two from our seat great We've also got, what else do we have here? We've got a throttle system, which we could use. Um, so a throttle system that we could use is from our seat. You can see here we go into our clutch and also into our little function block. So instead we're gonna connect that over to the throttle there and then the throttle over to our clutch too. There we go, cool. What else do we have on here? So we've got pulse waypoint entered, that will come from the keypad. Uh, we've got steering, so that can go into our steering, which is just over there. So steering. And we can also put that steering into our roll, which is somewhere around here. There we go. Cool. We're also going to do, that's also a roll there. We can just ignore that roll. Let's do X position. So that's our current X position, which I think I have a GPS block here. Yes. Y position is our current Y. X target is A. B is Y. Done. Uh, cool. That's pretty much about it, really. Don't think there's anything else. Uh, let's click on it. Steering multiply. Cool. Da, da, da. Everything else looks fine. Throttle limit. Sure. Grayscale. Yes. Invert roll and steering. Mm. Might need to switch that invert on and off, but we should be good. And let's test it out. Let's see if that autopilot system is going to work. Be happy if it does uh let's go and jump in here let's go and turn this on okay so that does go on let's make sure that okay so it looks like i forgot to connect the compass because it looks like i'm going completely the wrong direction so let me just go and double check i've got the compass connected did i no i didn't that's why okay so let's connect the compass which is over there spawn in again let's go on the creation let's see if this works on on Okay, we're facing the right direction. We can go left and right, up and down, zoom in, zoom out, reset, clear, cool. Uh, let's enter a waypoint. So let's go and tell the boat to drive here. Cool. So that should have entered one waypoint. Uh, did it? Doesn't look like it did. 
No, because you know why? I think I forgot to add electricity onto my keypad, so... Yep. I didn't add electricity to the keypad. Okay, so make sure you do that. And let me just double check. Did I add electricity to our GPS block? Let's go and double check. I didn't. Okay. So another thing that we didn't add. Cool. Always double check your electricity, guys. It's something that I see a lot of people forget to do with their bills. Um, even I do it, as you can see. So let's jump in last time. Let's see. Hopefully this all works. So we're going to jump in here. Enter a waypoint in. I should have loaded it. Yep, it has. You can see there if we zoom out. We should have one waypoint on our map there. And we can go and add some more. So let's add one there. So another one. That's two waypoints. Let's add a third one over there. There we go. Third waypoint. And maybe the fourth one over there. Cool. Let's see if... That'll work. So now if we want to turn that system on, we come over here and let's actually just go forwards a little bit. Just want to get out of the way of the docker here. Okay, there we go. And now if we just press two, we should actually be driving ourselves. I'm going to show you that I'm not driving by jumping out and going into a passenger seat. I should go in this one and make it can look at that. Now the boat in theory should be driving itself around those waypoints. It should also stop and start uh, with its throttle. So we shouldn't have to worry about that. I'm also just checking our steering and everything because we have now put all the steering and all the throttle through the navigation system instead of our seat, which we used to have it on. So I'm just keeping an eye. You can see we're coming up to waypoint one. Boat just went and turned. So perfect on the steering. It's leaning to the left too. And now it should be heading towards its next waypoint, which is over there. You can just keep it on there. You can even reset, reset this to be centered. Cool, so it's almost perfectly on its line, which is great. Not deviating at all. Should be coming up to the next waypoint, which is now waypoint one because we've already done one. Really happy so far. Next waypoint in a few seconds. There we go. Nice and easy. Uh, I'm actually going to go and change our waypoint system. So make it over there. And that's going to be our last one for today. So let's reset and clear that. And let's turn our waypoint system off. Let's enter in a new waypoint. Let's go over here. Let's turn it on. And let's see if it slow down, slows down once it gets to that. It should slow down in theory. I also see the boat's kind of leaning a little bit to the left, so I might want to resolve that ever so slightly by having a look at the weight and also by maybe changing the sensitivity of our gyro. Uh, so we're going up 200 meters, 150, should start slowing down, not doing any throttle, it's doing its own thing. Almost perfect. Not bad, I maybe want to increase that distance a little bit because it was very last minute that it stopped so to do that very easy on this controller just spawn it back into the workbench go into the navigation system target to distant threshold you can change that to like 50 if you want to or 80 it's up to you let's do like 50 meters or 30 meters 40 meters and you can also say deacceleration time is maybe like three or four once again up to you. you can play around these settings. This is all on the workbench, guys. This controller, if you want to go and download it. Um, so there we go, ladies and gentlemen. This boat is pretty much done. I've got everything I wanted on it. Uh, the only last thing that I'm missing at the moment is the water cannon, but that's really just a pump and connecting it to a seat. I'm not going to show you guys how to how to do a water cannon i think it's pretty straightforward i will do some more detailing on this boat before it gets released over to the workshop uh, and then hopefully next week we'll do a, another video where i'll be incorporating this into the ai rescue service doing a little bit of coding getting that all done and we should then have a fully serviced ai rescue boat here in game so something really pretty cool so guys if you have enjoyed it smash that like button if you want to see it in my future content make sure you have subscribed to the channel and if you don't want to miss any of my future content as soon as it gets posted make sure you do click the little bell icon to be notified as soon as those videos get released and until the next one we will see you then